hello friends and welcome back to the channel my name is z i'm from south africa and i live here in china i have a video that's up already and if you have not seen it please check it out like it comment on it and subscribe to the channel i talk about the basic requirements of actually coming to china on that video and i think it's informative and you will like it all right so today i want to talk about my process on how i gathered my document in preparation to actually coming here in china another thing is i have a little bit of notes that i took here just to make sure that i don't leave anything out please don't be distracted if you see me looking down so the first thing is the police clearance i went to pretoria to have my police clearance done i took a bus um, in the evening and i arrived there in the morning at 9 a.m i was done then i went back took a bus back home my police clearance took about three weeks to be ready and a friend of mine actually collected it for me the reason why i did it in pretoria is because should i have applied in my local police station it was going to take three months so i wanted it to be quicker and i went there and it took three weeks this does not mean that you have to actually go to pretoria to apply for a police clearance but if you want it to be quicker you can the second thing i did was then i started with my tefl certificate i did my tefl certificate with the professional development institute um, it looks like this i did the 120 hours i paid 900 rands mm, i think i paid 900 rands Basically, this is a free TEFL, however, you have to pay for it to be couriered to you. And then it arrived after five to six days. After that, I was ready to send my documents for authentication. What you do is, you can do it yourself if you are anywhere around Pretoria or Johannesburg. It's cheaper because most of the things that you have to do are free. However, I stay in KZN and me going there personally would have been very expensive also i needed to sleep somewhere because some of these things takes about three days and and, and. Okay, your documents must go through deco deco is the department of international relations you take them to the department of higher education and training you take them to the embassy you basically take them to different places so i got someone to actually do that for me at a price obviously um I was in a group in Facebook uh, for people who are actually looking for jobs in China. Someone came really recommended on Facebook and I actually sent him my documents and the money to actually have the documents authenticated. And he scammed me, basically. After four weeks, I wrote... told them what my name was where i'm from what qualification i have why do i want to get a job in china and then i started with my interviews i had about five to ten interviews some of the schools will just not give me feedback so i i wouldn't know what happened with them essentially i'll just think that okay fine it didn't go well and what's not after maybe a week or two i got two contracts with two different schools I picked one, signed it, and sent it back to the recruiter who sent it to the school. So I had to include my authenticated documents with this so that they could be able to apply for my invitation letter. My recruiter actually wanted me to send these electronically. I didn't have the stress of actually finding a, a Korea company to send my physical documents to China. I just did that online, like I sent an email with my documents. That's done. Now it was time to wait for my letter my invitation letter the wait was about two weeks a couple of days this was mainly because my recruiter did not send all the documents the chinese government needed for me to apply for the invitation letter which she then um, rectified after a week after two weeks and a couple of days i received my invitation letter now it was time for me to go and apply for my uh, visa I went and applied in um, Umklanga, in, in Durban. It took about six days for 
for my visa to be approved so after the six days then that's when i went and booked my flight ticket i booked my ticket with emirates uh and it was about seven thousand rands a friend of mine actually paid for my ticket and i'm grateful to this day that's how i actually went and prepared my documents to to be ready to come to china that was my process in regards to getting my documents ready and in preparation of my uh, china move i have read somewhere that the process has actually changed for these documents however if you're going to be using an agent to go and authenticate your documents it's going to be the same process as mine because essentially you won't be going to those places you just have to send your documents to your agent and the agent will do the work if this is helpful to you in any way please comment down below if you have anything to ask anything to say don't hesitate to ask me also i will leave the link down below for the institute where i did my TOEFL certificate in case you want to check it out i will see you on the next video welcome to my life